is wearing clothes softened with downy. Paula! I'm going to get my change purse over there. I need you to go up to store for me. What about? What you need? My bunions are on fire. I need you to get me some salts. How are you getting along with Dr. Bauer? I wish I could say I get along with you. I've got this and headache, and this heat is just unbearable. And listen, when I call you, you come, all right? Unfortunately, he does not. He does not. Honey, you got any smokes? Marry you? Yeah, I've been bumping off you, remember? Mm. <sighs> Just get me the salt, sorry. Okay. Here's your change. No. Can I help you? I need some Epsom salts. Epsom. Five cents. I'll take that. I found it. It brings me luck. Code in it.
Hey, cool breeze. Hey. <laughs> hey, Paula, your daddy's come to see you. Um, what say I fix us all some lunch? Mm, that sounds good. Okay. Nice wheels. Yeah. Yeah, I won this car in Atlantic City last Christmas. Me and a couple of poker buddies were running the tables that night. Little did we know there was one of those uh, house big shots waiting in the wings. Long about dawn, he sauntered in, brought up a thick wad, I mean a thick wad, a hundred dollar bill, set it down on the table, challenged us to a round. And I'd never been one to welch on a challenge. Hey, so Paula, least... honey, come in here and help me with the lunch, okay? So you buy it with the money? Oh, better than that. We beat him so bad. He had to challenge us to another round, double or nothing. She's been mine ever since. Cool. <laughs> Let's go help Aunt B. Mm. This is for you. Bob, I see you haven't lost your touch. You just hold on. I'd know that was going to be entertaining. Oh, you'd still serve up the same old uh, slop? <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh. Now, just where did you say you were headed off to? Well, a uh, colleague of mine in Miami mm -hmm. let me in on a tip. Could make your little brother a very rich man. Mm, what kind of tip? Vegas. Las Vegas? Vegas, yep. Buzz, what do you want to move out in the middle of the desert for? Oh, so what? A little sun never killed anybody. Besides, can't be any worse than the swamp you're living in. Mm. I hear Vegas is wild. Yeah, it is wild. It's also in the middle of the desert, for Christ's sake. Well, what's the difference? You're going to sweat your balls off either way. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, I got a plan this time, and uh, it's foolproof. It'll work. A plan? Mm -hmm. Tell me about this plan. Um, business has been good. Mm -hmm. It's It's been very good. And right now, in the trunk of that red Cadillac convertible, I've got enough money to make a down payment on a club all my very own. A club? My oh. club. Whoa. Do you know what kind of risks are involved with a club? Yeah, I think it is. Well, what if it doesn't work? Oh, well, it's going to work. I can feel it this time, Barbara, in my heart and in my bones. I know I can pull this off. I can make it work. Mm -hmm. And what if it don't work? Hmm. Uh, say, Cool Breeze, what do you say the three of us go out tonight? Take in a show, go to a club, whatever you want. Oh, I can't. Then that single bingo night at St. John's, and I've never missed a night yet. But you all go without me, okay? Listen, what time is it? Oh, God. Really? I gotta do my hair, I gotta do my nails, I gotta get ready. You have fun. What time is, uh, bingo? Six. <laughs> Wait here. I'll be right back. For me? Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. It's... You can wear it tonight. I don't wear dresses. Oh, but it'll look just great on you. I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. You wear it, and we can do whatever you want to do. Anything at all. I, I won't take no for this. 
Well... All right, it's decided then. Great. Oh, well, tell me, what's there to do around here? You get used to it. Does Aunt Barb know you do that? Mm-hmm. You want one? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. So she's been taking good care of you? Yeah, I'm not taking care of her. She takes care of me and all that junk. You know, I was uh, sort of afraid you weren't going to remember me. Really? I remember lots of things. You do? Yeah. Like what? Well, I remember you used to have this long, shaggy beard, and it was so bad when you carried me. Huh. I used to ink on it. Yeah, yeah. I got rid of that a while ago. What do you think of the new look? Mm, you mind if I... a lot like your mother did when she was young. Do you remember her? Not really. I guess I was too young or something. But I remember everyone being really sad and crying. I didn't understand all of it. Except when you took my hand and told me not to let go. And I didn't. I remember I got the worst cramp from squeezing so hard. Yeah, you didn't let go, did you? I really loved your mother. I mean, I really loved your mother. But when you can finally sort of get past it and put that behind you, it's hard coming back. Well, I was just, you know, driving by on the highway out there, heading out west. You know, I got that thing going out there. I think I really just wanted to see you. Uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
camera. You need to help me. Watch your head. <laughs> Say, uh, Paula, you know, I've been thinking. It's, it's been so nice seeing you and uh, getting reacquainted. And I was thinking it might be nice if you were to, uh, you know, come out and stay with me. You mean like visit? No, I mean, like, you know, stay for a while. In Las Vegas with you? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a nice idea. Give us a chance to catch up on all the years and get... Honey, I think I better go out there first, you know, get things set up, figure out where everything is, and uh, then I'll call you. No fun. Well, I guess I'd, uh, I'd just <clears throat> have to come back for you then. For me? It's for luck. Thanks. I'm gonna miss you. You hold tight. Cool breeze. <laughs> 